it's raining. Let me see if I get some umbrella. Got it. Hey there, Charlotte City Littles. I'm just trying to stay safe and dry out here. Can you believe all this rain? It's insane. But you know, I'm not gonna let that steal my joy today because I am so excited for today. And do you wanna know why? Yes, because we all get to come together for church, no matter if you're in Guatemala, or Kenya, or Boston, or Dallas, rain or shine, we all get to come together and learn more about Jesus. Even though I don't get to build or work on my projects today, that's okay, because I get to spend it with all of you. Um, do you guys hear that? It sounds like thunder. I think we better get moving. And you know, there's no better way to start the day than with the Shoreline City Creek. Take it away. I am loved by God. I cannot earn it. I cannot lose it. In Christ, I am forgiven and made brand new. I live with passion and purpose. I'm empowered by the Spirit to be the church in the world and to live Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. It's still raining outside. Can you believe it? I had a really fun idea. Since it's still raining outside, why not play with water inside? Do you like to play with water? Me too. I made two boats. One made of foam and the other made of Foil. I want to see how many of these animals will fit onto each boat before it starts to sink. Do you want to help me? Let's try it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four,
Wow, so many animals. Wow, that was so much fun. Did you guess which one would sink first? Great job! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Playing with water, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Since it's still raining outside, I decided to play with water inside. That does sound fun. It's true. I have a story about water and animals just for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you today. <laughs> It just finished raining, so I'm drying off my table so we can build together. Are you ready to build a Bible story with me? Oh, <laughs> great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Noah. Noah loved God and always tried to do what God said. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. Noah got to work right away. Uh-oh. I think my boat pieces got mixed up. Hmm. I'll try to build it, and you tell me if it's right. Okay, ready? All right. One, two. Oh, there's a nice boat. Wait, that boat isn't big enough. Let's try it again. One, two, three. There. That's a bigger boat. Oh, wait. That's still not big enough. Okay, maybe this will be right. One, two, three, four. Oh, now that's a big, big boat. Ooh, that's a huge boat. Way to go, Noah. You built the ark just like God told you to. The ark needed to be that big because God had a big plan. God told Noah to put two of every animal on the ark. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Tell me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I love all those. Let me show you my favorite animal. What are these? Yes, penguins! I love penguins! <laughs> oh, and there are all kinds of other animals, too. Ooh, here they come. <laughs> Hello, animals! Then Noah and his family got on the boat, and God shut the door. We might think that Noah was worried. He was getting in a boat with all the animals and didn't know what would happen next. But. Noah knew he didn't have to worry, because God's got it. And then it began to rain. Oh, can you help me make it rain? Okay, now you're gonna pat your legs like this. Okay, keep going. Okay. Well, it rained and it rained, and the whole earth flooded with water. But God kept Noah and his family and the animals safe. After it stopped raining, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird out to fly and see if it could find dry land. We might think that Noah was worried that the water would never go away. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And look, the bird brought back a green leaf. <laughs> Yay! That 
meant that there was dry land where trees could grow. It was such a happy day when God said Noah and his family could get out of the ark. Noah thanked God for being with them the whole time and keeping everyone safe. Then, God did the most amazing thing. God put a rainbow in the sky to promise that he'd never flood the whole earth again. When we see a rainbow, we can remember that God keeps his promises. God is always with us, and God's got it. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. What an incredible story today. I just really wish all this rain would go away. I had to pack up all my tools because, I mean, I can't really build outside when it's raining. So I had this idea and I thought with your help that maybe we could just get this rain to go away. So here's what I'm thinking. On the count of three, I want all of us to say, rain, rain, go away. And let's just see what happens. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Rain, rain, go away. Um, it doesn't look like that worked. It's still raining. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three. Rain, rain, go away. I think we did it, Littles. It looks like there's no more rain. That means that I can put this umbrella away. And you know what? Now that all the rain has stopped, we can do table talk time. And if you don't know what that is, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it works. I'm gonna ask you guys some questions and they're gonna pop up on the screen and I want you to tell me the answers. And here's a hint. They're all from our lesson today. So let's get started. Question one, who was today's story about? Let me hear you. Yes, today's story was about Noah. Question two, what did God teach Noah that he wants us to learn too? A little bit louder. You got it. God taught Noah that he will always take away his worries and that he will always keep him safe no matter how scary it is. Question three, when can we trust God to keep us safe? Let me hear. You got it. We can always trust God to keep us safe. You know, you guys are really good listeners, which means that you would probably be really great builders too. And I think I saw our memory statement in there somewhere. Did you? Yep, there it is. I am always safe with God. Do you want to learn some motion so that you can remember that and teach your friends and family? Me too. Okay, let's do it. I am always safe with God. Let's do that one more time. I am always safe with God. That's so good, Littles. I've had the most amazing time with you guys today, even with all the rain. But now that it's stopped, I think I'm gonna go splash around in all the puddles. And I think I'm gonna teach a friend that memory statement today. And I hope that you guys do that as well. Littles, we love you so much, and we can't wait to see you again soon. Bye.